Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be discussing hydrogen fuel celled cars and how they work. And we'll actually be looking at the architecture and packaging of the Toyota Mirai as an example to see how this is actually implemented within a car. Now before we get into the Toyota Mirai and how this is actually packaged, we need to know how hydrogen fuel cells work and how they produce electricity. So here we have a hydrogen fuel cell and it may look a bit complicated at first but they're actually rather simple. So what we've got going on, on the left side we have a hydrogen supply and on the right side we have an oxygen supply. So this hydrogen, the first thing it passes through, uh, basically it passes this platinum catalyst and what this platinum catalyst does is it separates uh, the hydrogen from the electrons. So the electrons uh, are split off and now we have two positively charged hydrogen atoms. <clears throat> Now the next stage is to pass through the proton exchange membrane and this is only going to allow for positively charged things to pass through. So here we have these positively charged hydrogens so they can pass through but the electrons cannot uh, or nor neutral charged items. So as these hydrogens are passing through the electrons have to go somewhere else and that's where they're going to travel uh, and power whatever it is that uh, you're attempting to power whether that be a light bulb an electric motor in this case uh, charging a battery sending that power to a controller uh, and letting the controller distribute it where it needs to go but point is those electrons are going to travel through something uh, thus providing electricity and then they're going to come back after uh, the hydrogen atoms have passed through this proton exchange membrane. So after the electrons have gone and done their thing, they'll return to the fuel cell where they then combine with the positively charged hydrogen atoms to form H2. Now you have an intake air supply which of course contains oxygen and so the H2 will then bond uh, with the oxygen so the oxygen the O2 will split, split apart uh, because it, it'd rather be bonding with the H2 so then you'll have two H2Os uh, which will then be sent out with two H2s and one O2. So what the overall process here looks like is we have the two H2s which go on to form 4H plus and 4E minus. Now these products of this reaction combine with O2 to then form H2O. So the overall reaction is we have two H2s plus O2 on the left side and then our product is simply two H2O. So the only byproduct of this reaction is water which will be coming out of the tailpipe of the car in this case. So now let's check out the architecture of the Toyota Mirai and look at how they've implemented this uh, in order to power a vehicle. So you'll notice that they actually have two hydrogen tanks uh, and what these will do is send their hydrogen to the fuel cell stack. Now the fuel cell stack is simply a lot of these individual fuel cells uh, stacked side by side. So you've got your hydrogen coming in, you've got an air intake uh, which is going to be pulling in air and allowing for that oxygen to react within the fuel cell stack. Uh, now that energy that is created is then sent to a power control unit and this power control unit can do several things with the energy. It can either send it as storage to a battery and use it later or it can send it directly to the electric motor and then power the driven wheels. Now the other thing that you can do uh, with this is regenerative braking. So as you're slowing down, you can take the energy uh, generated by the electric motor, send it back to the power control unit, um, and then send that to the battery. So that energy can then be used at a later time. And as I mentioned previously, the only product of this reaction uh, will of course be H2O, so sending water out the tailpipe uh, for a very clean emission compared to internal combustion engines burning diesel or uh, gasoline or any other type of fuel like that. So these vehicles will drive much like electric vehicles, the difference of course being that you're using hydrogen as your fuel source to power the electric motors, and this of course can be refilled. Now, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.